Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon. And when last we left off, we finally worked our way through that nightmarish level and emerged here, after getting back to the spider area. Before we move on, I'm going to sort out all of the inventory of the party, because I would prefer everything to be a lot more organised than it is. So we'll start by getting all of the scrolls, and try our best to get them matched up to the people who can best use them. Also, I'm going to drop this skull here, this skull here, and do we have any more skulls? Because I get the feeling we can just use rocks to balance uh, pressure plates and the like. Let us get rid of Thumper for now, because I'm going to get that identified soon enough. That dagger has been identified, this sword hasn't been identified, neither has this sword, or this dagger. The bow has been identified, which is always handy, and we'll put all of this down here. We'll put the plot important items, like these are horns, over here, because you never know when horns might be useful. Also, one person holding onto the food might not be a bad thing. We have plenty of lockpicks, though. We can put a pair of lockpicks over here, and get rid of them forever. Wands are also a good thing to have on one person. Like you. Food there. We don't actually have that much food, which is quite reassuring. You can hold on to them, you can hold on to them. You're holding on to some iron rations, which can go over there. Keys. You can hold on to some keys for now, and quite a lot of scrolls. There we go. Having one or two people who can just hold on to all of the items that you pick up, that's probably a good idea. So your inventory still is quite full. We still have a lot of things. Hopefully we'll have less things as time goes on. Also, we have no idea what this is, so we'll get that identified as well. Right, it's time to get these things sorted out. Anything that's magical will figure out the purpose of it with my magic. And if it happens to be cursed, then I can uncurse it with my magic. You know, before you had that spell, anything that was cursed that you found would have been stuck in your hand forever. I am aware of that, Sandstar, but do not worry. Most items are not cursed. Magic items are difficult to curse, as far as I know. And so I'll start with this one. And let's see what this is. Um... I appear to have found our first cursed item, my friends. Ha! What did I tell you? Cursed items aren't everywhere. Oh yes, they are. It's a simple enough matter to remove it. Let's see what this is. The minus two cursed longsword hath cull, which pretty much means if you were using that, you would be suffering a minus two to your thaco. Let us look at this sword, and see what this does. Um, well... Two out of two, Rune? What are the odds of that? Not as much as you'd think. This is a minus three cursed longsword, even worse than the other longsword that we were just, uh, looking at. Is this cursed? No, this is not cursed. Let us see what this is. This is a plus one robe. Plus one robes could be useful. What about this dagger? This dagger we know the identity of, it is a plus two dagger. What about the Dagger Yagen? The answer is... Three out of three. There are a lot of cursed items here. I wonder if they were expecting people to try and take them. That would be... quite clever of them. I doubt that's the case, Calandra. Chances are, they were just left there by the previous users. Perhaps they didn't know that they were cursed. A minus two cursed dagger. That goes over there. How many more things do we have to identify? The Mace Thumper. That's also cursed. We're coming across a lot of cursed items. I know. But, as I said, easy enough to get rid of. And that is, hopefully, the final cursed item. There is a plus two dagger. Do we have any more daggers or any weapons that we need to identify? Not from you. There's a plus five dagger there, and I think that's pretty much it. Plus two, just have one final look, just to make sure. And I 
think we've pretty much looked at everything. Right. We don't need any of these anymore. Minus two, minus two, minus two, and minus three. And with that sorted through, it's time to head back upstairs. We could take a normal dagger, but we don't need a normal dagger. We would, however, like that uh, rock. So we'll put the dagger here and grab the rock. Having more rocks, always useful. On we go! The sooner we get to the next floor, the better off we'll be. Hello, you! Stop! You're not meant to be here! We've heard that all before. We killed everyone else down here in our search for evil. And now you're gone, too. Let's head back up. There probably won't be anybody for us to face here. This floor seems to be quite empty since we uh, cleared out the... Never mind! There are loads of enemies here. And I think we're about to encounter a curious quirk of uh, this game. The uh, stairs leading up are further down the corridor. Any uh, sling rocks that miss will likely go to that stairway. And rather than stopping at the stairway, they will actually go through the uh, stairway and go to the floor where the uh, stairs lead. That works when it's a stairway down. It works a lot less when it's a stairway heading up. And yet, it probably will work like that, and the uh, stone will somehow manage to bounce up to the next floor. You're gone, and one more, there we go. They're gone, and hopefully they're not coming back. I don't know what triggered them appearing, but we definitely want to do some healing before we move back up there. That was quite a lot of healing. Not bad. Could do with a bit more, though. Cure Light Wounds? Maybe a little more. That healing was not that great. In fact, while we're here, why don't we deposit a few items that we're not going to be using? Like those robes, and maybe the bow. Then again, keeping a bow around is probably a really good idea. Your inventory is practically full of, uh, things that we could be using at some point. Those scrolls are always worth holding on to, also that was not the right way. Neither was that. This, however, was, and there are two more clerics here. Where do they keep coming from? Perhaps the stairs up? That is a good point, Lilamba, but they weren't the same types of clerics up there. They were using maces, and they weren't using magic. That is also a good point. Where are they coming from? Best not to think about it. Instead, we'll move forward. All right, let's go, Relendra. And up we go, back to this floor. Now, there are two things that I want to test here. The first thing I want to test is that I want to test, uh... If we can open those locks that I encountered, by the way, there's that rock that uh, flew up the stairs, I want to see if I can open those locks with the lockpicks. And the second thing I want to do is I want to look at those bat statuettes. Those statuettes are specifically described. Then again, lots of things are specifically described. But I'm curious if we can do anything with them. So we can go this way, or we can go the other way. I'm gonna go this way first. And of course, this way has, uh, this lock here. A lock we cannot open, no matter how hard we try. So let us go this way instead, and have a look around. This thing is quite hideous. They're not very durable, either. Perhaps something will be hiding behind one of them, like a fireball trap. It could happen. I've heard of worse stories. Now keep your eyes open while I try and open this lock. Hmm. It's a tricky one. Aha! Nothing is impenetrable for Sandstar. You may thank me later. Scroll of invisibility. We could always do with the scroll of invisibility. So let's keep looking around. This leads over to here. And a spare pair of lockpicks. We could always do with one of them. Let us go this way. Destroy this, of course. Can we destroy this? No. So those statuettes are important for something, or at the very least, they will eventually be useful for something. Maybe not important, but useful. Just make sure we can deal with you. There we go. That polearm is really good. A really effective weapon. 
and over here wasn't very much. Got to double check everything, there's this door that we haven't tried to open. None shall pass without the mark of Dark Moon. What was that? That, I believe, is a magic mouth. Something used to relay a message. We probably need some kind of symbol to get past that door. That's magic? Not some kind of monster? I imagine that there are monsters that pretend to be mouths that are magical. I don't want to think about how dangerous they are. Could that be the case, Rune? It certainly could be, Calandra. I haven't seen such a monster myself. Did that just spawn a few uh, enemies behind me? Doing that might very well have done so. I'm starting to wonder if there's any advantage to uh, destroying those statuettes. I'm sure there will be, I just haven't figured it out yet. One down, and a second one down. What about here? Nothing. Haven't been checking for any uh, secret walls either. Let's go and deal with this one. There we go. Ooh! Now there is something there. And we have revealed teleporters. More teleporters. Let's deal with them last, shall we? I agree. Best to deal with them once we've explored the rest of the floor. I'll just get this one moment. Excellent. We are in. More of that dust. I think it's best to leave that there for now and remember where it is. Let us look around more. Nothing here. Nope. No hidden switches or anything else. There is another door we can unlock, though. Now... Ah, a complete set of elf bones. That tells me that this person can probably be resurrected. Let me give this a quick read. Kelvin, your suspicions were correct. There is more happening here in Temple Darkmoon than meets the eye. Upon arriving, I ambushed a new convert and have taken her identity. This has made it quite simple to infiltrate the temple. The clerics here have completely deceived the surrounding populace. Everyone believes them to be kind and helpful, while secretly they gather an army of undead warriors. I will send this to you as soon as I can, but first I must take their test to become a true member of the cloth. With my skills, there should be no danger. Amber. Well, turns out you grossly overestimated your abilities. This is indeed the person that Kelvin sent to look around Dark Moon. She wasn't that successful. A shame. We should bring her remains back to that altar of resurrection. That's a sensible idea. We should. She can tell us information about what's going on here, if nothing else. Let us go back very quickly to that uh, altar. I believe we have to go this way. And there's one more person here. Nope, there are three more people here. Silly me. Let us ready a fireball. Also, I did not remove all of those removed curses. Fortunately, fireballs are devastatingly powerful, and the other two should be easy to deal with. Let us deal with that spell casting. Because I don't want improved identify, I want Melf's Acid Arrow, and I also want some Ice Storms. There we go. Much better. We'll rest in a moment, don't worry. Let us go down and find out just uh, what Amber knows, if anything. There we go. Now let us get those remains and put them here. Who would you like to resurrect? Amber. And she is alive! What happened? Where am I? Who are you? Are you working with Dark Moon? Be still and relax. We're working with Kelban, much like you were. Uh, I am Rune, and these are my companions Valendra, Lilanva, Sandstar, and Calandra. We're working to stop the evil machinations of Dark Moon. If you're working to stop Dark Moon, then I need to help you. There's so much evil going on here. There's an army of undead. We have seen and fought it. It was tough, but we were victorious. If you could deal with the army of the undead, then you can definitely help me. And we can help you. You're welcome to join us if you wish. What are your capabilities? I'm an accomplished spellcaster, and I'm very good at sneaking around when I need to. I doubt you're as good as me. My reputation precedes me. I have heard of all of you. 
Not from hills far, right? No, you're the heroes of Waterdeep. Oh, thank the gods you don't know. What about Hillsfar? Oh, I know about Hillsfar. Ugh. Everyone knows about Hillsfar. But let's go. Time is wasting. We must explore the rest of this temple as quickly as possible. With Amber being a mage thief, that gives us a lot of options. For starters, we are going to swap Rune and Lilamva and Amber and Sandstar around, because now we have people on the back row with fairly decent armor classes, 2 and 4 respectively. Secondly, we want to give Amber a robe, which improves her armor class to 5. Now, we want to equip her with some pretty good things, namely, I want to give her this bow. Now, we can remove all of these arrows and give them to Amber, because I'm pretty sure that Amber will be able to use the bow, and if we give her the spellbook, she should be able to switch between the uh, spellbook and the bow quite easily. Having a second arcane spellcaster is a really good thing. I would have preferred to have had a uh, mage cleric, but I doubt I'm going to get that option. Having somebody that could cast uh, divine and arcane spells, now that would have been awesome. But having two people capable of firing fireballs at enemies, that's always a nice thing. Right, we want to give you a spellbook, and I don't know which spellbook will be better. This spellbook, maybe? Let's see if we can have you memorize spells. There are quite a few spells here. Not all of the spells that uh, Rune has. Then again, could we have you share a spellbook? Now, that is curious. If I give you that spellbook, can you then memorize them? The answer is... No, it would seem your spellbook is unique to you. So if I give uh, that back to Rune... Yeah, Rune has more spells, so it doesn't matter which spellbook it is. All that matters is that uh, the person in question either knows or does not know the spell. So what we're going to do is we're going to scribe for you a lot of uh, spells. Fireball, Invisibility, Shield, Magic Missile, and Armor. All of these are very useful. Hopefully we're going to find more things for you to uh, use, but what we can do is we can pick up a lot of items that may be useful, like all of these potions of vitality and healing. We could also identify that shield at some point, but I think for now we're pretty good. You could hold on to some food as well, and maybe this dagger, and I think we're pretty much good to go. I should have probably picked up that helmet from quite a while ago, but let's have uh, you memorize your spells. You're going to have some magic missile, and a burning hands? No, a detect magic definitely, and a shield, a blur, and a melf's acid arrow, and another one. A fireball, definitely, and a hold person, and an ice storm. You're not as high level as a uh, rune is, but that makes sense. Let us rest the party, and now that we have a complete complement of people, we can look around quite safely, or at least a lot safer than we were. And I want to check if uh, Amber can fire this bow. Before we move on, let's see how that works. Yep, Amber can fire the bow, even with a spellbook in her other hand. And to use the spellbook, we just uh, pick up the bow and use it. Or we can... Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. I want to go pick this up. Also, there is a uh, pair of clerics here. But we do have somebody else that can now use a ranged weapon. And that's extra damage, and she's pretty good with it too. You're quite a good shot. Thank you. I've had many years to practice. Excellent. And we'll just deal with you. And then, need to be a little bit careful with uh, having an arrow in our inventory when we are firing. There we go, that should be everything. We definitely want to make sure we keep all of the arrows that we can. And while I'm thinking about it, definitely also want to switch out these magical rocks, because if there are any rocks that I want to be using, it's the magical ones. And we'll put that there, this here, and that there. And when we come back, folks, we finally have 
the final member of our party, at least for now. We have Amber, which means we have two frontline fighters, two wizards, two stealthy characters, and one healer. I'd have preferred to have had a wizard healer, but I'll take what the game gives me. And so, when we come back, we will head back up to the area with all the priests, and hopefully we will find a way forward. Maybe we'll find a way to use all of these uh, trumpets that we've been accumulating. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.